a count on two investigation. Georgetown County is at the center of a cyber attack orchestrated by one of the worst ransomware gangs in the world. Two months after the breach, count on two investigators Sophia Desisor is learning how the attack went far beyond limiting county services. Sophia joins us now and you actually notified the county about information posted on the dark web, Sophia. That's right, Carolyn. The investigators received a tip from a cybersecurity expert telling us the criminals were posting data stolen from the county during that breach, including spreadsheets with employee information like you see behind me. Now, we have blocked off sensitive information, but their names, social security information, and more is all in plain sight. We contacted the county asking them why the public hadn't been notified. They told us they didn't know. Georgetown County breached by cyber criminals, shutting down email, tax services, GIS, and more. Basically everything that was computer related was shut down. The ransomware gang named Doppelpamer claimed responsibility for the attack, posting updates about the crime on the dark web, writing, quote, below you can find private data of the companies which were hacked by Doppelpamer. This company decided to keep the leakage secret. Now their time to pay is over. Several hacked entities, including Georgetown, are listed on the site. A quick click reveals information, including employees' names, positions, and social security numbers, county bank information, and more. According to the post you see here, the Georgetown data account was published February 1st of this year and has been updated as recently as last week. A look at the views reveals that more than 16,000 people may have already accessed, downloaded, or shared the posted data. Georgetown County Public Information Officer Jackie Broach says they didn't know. We had not received prior to your email yesterday any indication that any data had been leaked or that it had even been obtained by, by these criminals. Ransomware attacks like this one usually involve malicious software that infects a computer and demands a fee to be paid in order for the system to be unlocked. Broach says the hackers requested a large amount of cryptocurrency. We opted not to pay it. A lot of times these sorts of attempts are linked to terrorist organizations and we opted that it would be best to use our backups and rebuild rather than, than pay the ransom. Brett Callow is a threat analyst with cybersecurity firm Emisoft. He says groups like Doppelpamer usually have access to an entity system for about 56 days before they start the encryption process. During that time, they will steal data and they use that data as additional leverage to extort payments. If their victim doesn't pay, the data gets posted online, typically in a series of installments to gradually ramp up the pressure. Suggesting that the criminals have harvested more information than what's been released. It's just a very unfortunate situation. Now, Broach says they have notified law enforcement. SLED is the lead in this investigation, and they're now in the process of notifying the employees impacted. The FBI issued a warning about the Doppelpamer group back in December of last year. You can read that over on our website, countonto.com. Reporting live in studio, Sophia Desasor for the Count on Two Investigators.